So one of the first things that happened of, of significance in the decade was a very poor produce vendor decided to set himself on fire. And those actions became the inspiration for the Arab Spring, the story of Muhammad Bouazizi metastasized into hashtag protest movements in many Arab countries. And then those hashtag protest movements were intertwined with actual physical on the ground protests. And in many cases, that led to the toppling of governments. Just like the death of Mohammed Bouazizi in Tunisia inspired the Arab Spring movement, the death of Michael Brown very quickly grew into the Black Lives Matter hashtag movement and a shifting in the understanding of what justice means vis-a-vis -vis police and people of color. This widespread reevaluation of racial justice didn't only affect police departments, but also the entertainment industry in the United States. In 2015, April Rain tweeted really simply, hashtag Oscars so white. As a result, I think going forward, so you're gonna see a lot more representation of what America actually looks like. A similar revolution was, was taking place around the same time in terms of uh, gay rights. And that led to a Supreme Court case, and ultimately in 2015, a US Supreme Court decision guaranteeing the right of any couple, be they straight or gay, to marry and have their marriage recognized all across the country. So when we look back on the 2010s and all the uh, viral movements, Me Too is gonna to be at the top of a lot of people's lists. Ultimately, the Me Too movement entirely transformed in the United States and across many other countries in the world, what we consider acceptable and unacceptable. Hey, hey, ho, ho, in 2018, in Lexington, Virginia, the White House press secretary sits down to eat dinner. The owner of the restaurant asks Sarah Sanders to get up and leave. And with that, for at least for a time it seemed, everything became political. I think without question, this intrusion of political acrimony into every other aspect of our daily lives is only accelerating. It's interesting, you know, at the end of the decade that has been so transformative in so many ways, how many of these movements you can look at and trace back, in some cases, to a single person's decision. And it, it only makes you wonder as we head into the 2020s, who right now, without suspecting it, is making, considering some moral or ethical question.